Hey guys, okay, uh, today we're going to be installing um, a dash cam I've been lucky to uh, do some product testing for. Um, so I'm just going to show uh, how to pull off the, um, the dash trim, the base, more, more specifically the bottom dash trim. Um, it'll give you access to, you know, the accelerator pedal, um, fuse box and stuff like that. Um, if you need to, or if you're wanting to install a uh, throttle controller or need access to the fuses or to run any wiring um, for any lighting that you might want to have. Alright, so let's go have a look. Okay, so I've already removed the fuse box just there to get access to but I do need to pull off some trim to run off some wiring uh, for a dash cam so the first steps you want to do um, everything is pretty much holding into place um, there is really only one place that requires a screwdriver or a screw to come out and then you'll have access to, to everything so the first part that you want to get rid of to access the dash is this right here this trim piece right here all right, so you need to pull out your weather stripping and then from here it's just basically all held in by clips bear with me one moment while I get my tools hey guys back sorry about that wait um, had to get my trim removal tools so basically we need to get into here to pop this off so just bear with me while I just pop this over here for a second So the panel is held in by these clips. Some of them have actually come off, but that's okay. Um, they only need to secure it. They'll, they'll fall down to, the, to a well down there. Um, you can just pick them up and just pop, pop them back on. But for now, it's all right. We're just gonna put that aside. All right, so this is uh, one of the bolts that you need to take off. Um, that's basically the only bolt you need to take off and you'll have access to just underneath the dash. All right, as you can hear it, that's just fallen down. So the next piece you wanna take off is this piece here. And this is just all held by clips. And if I can get it with one hand, not for the faint of heart, but you know, you just need to give it a good tug and it just comes off. All right. So they're the clips that hold it in. And just set that aside. Now you've got access to the other trim piece. This part is also held in by clips. You need to give it a bit of a good yank. But I have removed, removed this piece before. Uh, one of my clips have actually held in place and I'll have to um, remove that at some point to put it back in but that's what it, they should look like okay so that's for one of your trim pieces to hide the um, the gas valve or the petrol valve all right so we're up to the point where we've got the dash now and so next is to get this off and then basically all this will, will come out as one piece all right so I'm just going to Go grab some more tools and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've got the right tool. I just need uh, okay, to take this part off. All right, so that's off. Grab that. All right, so now you can see it's pretty loose now, and all it is is clips. Now, please be gentle, because there is actually a sensor just in there that's attached to it, and the uh, bonnet release is connected as well. So even though you do give it a yank for it to come off as such, please be careful when you do it. Oh, oh my boy. So now she's off. 
So as you can see, that's off. I've got that's my um, uh, high kit there that's connected. Uh, that's more of a, a, a dash cam that I had. All right, so from here, you can have, you've got access to your throttle, your accelerator pedal, just in there. That's I don't know if you can see it, but in there, you've got full access to it, and it's easy as connecting it. Um, you don't need to get someone to professionally install it or anything like that. It's literally you take the the, the plug out the back, plug it into the high kit. Um, and then the um, the plug back into the high kit um, and then you're away and that's all routed through up to there as you can see so now I have access to this that's uh, pretty much how to access your under door trim um, you can take this off as well these these are off it's just a sensor I'm, I'm assuming it's just an air sensor in air sensor um, uh, other than that this you can take off as well which is the boot really um, boot release the bonnet release it just slides out um, and then you can the whole trim comes away for you to work on um, it's it really isn't that hard it's just uh, please be careful with your when you're doing it with your clips and whatnot um, you may potentially break some uh, but again you can pick some up off eBay Amazon AliExpress wherever you want to shop uh, and then yeah all right so hopefully that that will give you an idea on what you know you need to do to to access it or if you want to install an iDrive uh, dash cam um, aftermarket stereo anything like that that you need access to the fuse box or or to run and cabling all right guys uh, I'll hopefully have another video sometime soon um, like comment subscribe if there's any questions you guys might have um, put them down in the comments and I'm, I'm happy to answer them all right take it easy Hey guys, um, just doing the rear dash cam install now. Um, as you can see, up here was a plastic trim piece. I've taken that off. So we, what you want to do is you want to route the camera from there through there into there and feed it through this plastic tubing grommet. And then from there, we'll be going down into here and then routing the cable around up through the pillars and then all the way to the front camera okay that's just a, a quick video for you nothing major nothing big um, but yeah this is the rear trim piece here which just sits just up there like that and again just held in by clips these white things here um, and yeah easy enough to to pull off just be a bit careful though again um, you do run the risk of breaking trim if you pull too hard all right so again just take your time don't forcibly try to remove it or anything um, they, it will come off eventually you'll hear some snaps or whatever but that's again it's just this, the clips coming out but again if you're not confident please don't do this um, get someone go to a, a specialist installer to get these done okay Thanks. Bye.